Move over, Matthew McConaughey. Tinseltown has a new shirtless wonder. You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of Abduction. Sakuna, run! Who killed my parents? They weren't your real parents. There are only four of us who knew your identity. Two of us are dead, so there's a leak. Whoever these people are, I have to stop them. Wait a minute, didn't this movie already come out? Oh yeah, it did. But much like Drive, the art house actioner failed to spin its hype into gold. Will audiences be more interested in the same movie, albeit with a mainstream bent and a male lead? When that male lead is Taylor Lautner, the odds of success go up. At this year's Hollywood Foreign Press Luncheon, Mark Wahlberg announced that Lautner was in better shape than he was and better looking than Leonardo DiCaprio, joking that meant the two older actors would soon be out of a job. Hmm, apparently neither one of them has actually ever seen Taylor Lautner act. Yes, there's a reason he keeps taking his shirt off. It's a distraction, and it works. But while Team Jacob shows up in spades for the Twilight films, will they show up for a non-Twilight film? After all, Team Edward hasn't been very loyal. In fact, neither Robert Pattinson or Kristen Stewart has been able to find success outside of the franchise. But while they went art house and highbrow, Lautner is going straight up commercial for his first solo bid. John Singleton directs this high octane thrill ride, and noted stars like Sigourney Weaver and Alfred Molina are riding shotgun. And also, this guy. Swedish actor Michael Nykvist played the male lead in the original Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, and while Hollywood did replace him with Daniel Craig for their remake, they're apparently giving him a shot here, and also as the villain in Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. If American audiences are denied the opportunity to see foreign language films, at least we're getting the chance to see foreign language actors, as long as they speak English. So is Hollywood doing Nykvist a favor by putting him in abduction? Let's go find out. So today we're doing another BTT crew review and we just got out of Abduction. Abduction seemed pretty formulaic. Um, I don't think the writing was particularly superb. I, oh boy. Um, yes, we dragged Rick to this movie. He was very, he was a good sport. I'm not a big Taylor Lautner fan. I would not normally go see a movie if he's in it. Taylor Lautner isn't a very good actor, but he does one of the best roundhouse kicks I've ever seen. It was a nice roundhouse kick. I did enjoy that. Some of the action scenes were pretty fun just to watch, I guess. He's really good at all of his stunts, and things were edited and cut pretty well. I think Taylor Lautner might have a future in action films, but he's more like the new Steven Seagal. He doesn't have much presence. He's not a great actor. Nothing against the guy. He seems like a nice guy, but he's just really boring and kind of flat. The acting in this was brutal, and not in a good way. Uh, and everybody came off poorly, so maybe it's a script. I had some real problems with the script. The movie was very confusing. It did a weird, it had a weird way of explaining things. To me, this movie didn't really take itself incredibly seriously. You know, a lot of really traumatic things happen in it, and it's just kind of brushed off by all the characters, and it's, you know, pretty soft around the edges. Yeah, there were major, major plot holes. Things just weren't explained. Uh, you would think the script was going to go left and it would go right, and instead of that being a pleasant surprise, it was just frustrating because it, it didn't make any sense, that kind of a turn. I found myself perplexed as to what was going on, why things were happening, the motivation of the characters, just the whole thing, I was very confused. I think Alfred Molina came out okay and Jason Isaacs. They came out the best. And I liked uh, Michael Nykvist from Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. He had a cool villain look, but I felt kind of bad for him that this was the role he had. There's a presence of like these evil Russians and I thought that was great. I really like that whole kind of badass Russian culture. I would have even liked a little bit more of that. I gotta say also, I'm a little bit disappointed in John Singleton. The guy's a wonderful director with a great uh, catalog of work, and this just does not live up to it. I think that he second-guessed himself. I think he tried to deliver something that was Twilighty, and I think the work suffered for it. If you're thinking about seeing this, and you haven't seen The Born Identity, or any of its sequels, or The Fugitive, go see those. I think if you're over, maybe, 17, I wouldn't really recommend going to see it in theaters. I don't think this is a star-making movie. I think it'll just, we'll just find out if it, if Taylor Lautner has any juice at the box office. I'd give it a 4. I would give this movie a 6.5. I would give this movie um, probably a 6 out of 10. So overall, here on BTT, we give this movie a 5.5. What did you think of Abduction? Write your thoughts down below. I'm Grace Randolph reporting from AMC Empire 25. Want to go even further beyond the trailer? Then be sure to check out reviews for this week's other new releases by clicking over here. Also, there are two new movie bites. The first is a list of the top 10 cat movies in honor of Puss in Boots' upcoming film, and it features real cats. 
And the second is another comic book movie costume discussion with Agent of Style, this time about The Avengers. Finally, you can get the latest box office news on Movie Math by clicking over here. And of course, I hope you'll subscribe. Thanks for watching.